Hey guys, Neely here. I am driving with my Ruthie back here. Say hi. She's playing on her tablet. It's just the two of us right now, so we are running some errands. There we go. And I thought I'd talk to you a little bit and tell you, I'll roll these windows up so you can hear me, and tell you about uh, what's going on with me. I have some health updates on myself as well as um, the results or the update on my sweetener free challenge that I was doing. So first off, I'll talk about the sweetener free challenge. Um, I went for three weeks. I had planned on going for four weeks, um, but a couple of things happened and I just decided to go ahead and end it. Um, I'm going to put my sunglasses on so I'm not squinting at you the whole time. Um, anyways, so I was doing the sweetener free challenge and it was going fine. Um, no, nothing dramatic to report about it. The same as what I reported last time, just eating was boring and it was fine. Um, and then my, um, this is TMI a little bit, but my cycle came back for the first time, um, fully since Renee was born. And, um, also my, uh, Renee decided that she was done with nursing and she just went on a major nursing strike and I just decided that we'd take the opportunity and go ahead and wean. So that kind of sent my body into a full hormonal chaos, <laughs> obviously, with the, um, with the period coming along and then with her weaning, it was just, my body was kind of crazy. And the reason I was doing the sweetener free challenge was to kind of gauge how my body responded to it and if it affected my hunger levels and uh, made me feel any better, uh, it, all that kind of stuff. And with all that hormonal chaos going on, there was, it was, I was not going to get any of that information because I, there's no way to know what was causing what in, um, my appetite and all that. So, um, I had already gone for three weeks and I just was really bored of it and, um, didn't feel like I was get, gaining any huge insights or benefits from it. So I just went ahead and said that was enough. So, um, yeah, I may try it again at some point when my body kind of levels out and I can actually get some better information from it. But, um, as it is right now, I didn't notice anything dramatic. It was fine to do just to cut it out for a little while, made the grocery bill a little bit cheaper. And, um, it was a good exercise in self-control. So there's that, there's that. But, um, Beyond that, I went to the doctor. Um, my doctor is a naturopath. She's a naturopathic doctor and a chiropractor, and she's absolutely wonderful. And I went to her to talk about um, my difficulty losing weight. Basically, I have been at the same weight since Renee was born and after like the first week of my body leveling out. So for the past nine months, um, I have been almost the exact same weight and I will kind of go down a little bit and, um, I'll think, Oh, well, finally things are dropping stuff is working and then it'll just shoot right back up. And so I have just been really frustrated. And instead of trying like just to go harder or exercise more or cut back or anything like that, I really wanted to just kind of take a holistic approach and get some tests run, make sure that I'm not just driving myself into the ground, um, by trying harder as far as losing weight goes. And I thought maybe my thyroid, cause that's what you always think first when you have trouble losing weight, that it's oftentimes the thyroid. Um, so I got a full thyroid panel done as well as a full metabolic panel and um, several other things like vitamin D levels and what else? Um, oh, ferritin and several other things that she ordered. And the thyroid came back fine. All of those were in good, a good range. All of those hormones were in a good range. Um, so that wasn't the problem. Um, and also I had no antibodies, so no um, autoimmune 
issues at all. So that's also a really good thing. So, so there's no autoimmunity going on. And then the one thing that she did see, or actually there was a few things she saw. Um, first was ferritin was a little low and that's iron in your blood or stored iron. I think there's a couple different level, uh, tests you can do on iron. And um, my ferritin was low, so I have started taking an iron supplement and increasing like my red meat consumption. And um, that should help with that. And then my zinc was also low, and so I'm getting on some zinc to build that up. But then the main thing that she said she saw was um, sodium potassium imbalance, I think is what she said. And she said that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. And when you have adrenal fatigue, it can cause losing weight to be very difficult, um, basically because your body is kind of in a stressed state. And when it's in a stressed state and the adrenals are overworked, then your body doesn't want to focus on losing weight. It wants to conserve everything it can um, because of the stress that your body perceives. So it wants to pack on the pounds and not let go just in case the stress is a famine or something to that effect. So she um, got me on, like I said, the stuff for the iron and the zinc, um, a good multivitamin as well. And then um, she also prescribed a, um, a adrenal supplement uh, that I started taking last week. And um, we're kind of just, I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens uh, with that. I, uh, let's see, um, nothing, I haven't, I've been taking the adrenal supplement and then one more, um, supplement that she gave me to regulate my period now that, um, it's coming back or it's back, um, after Renee and so that's supposed to help with that. So I've been taking those two. I had to order the other supplements and they're just coming in today. So, um, I haven't started all of them yet, but I've been on the, the adrenal supplement and the um, hormone period regulating supplement, and I haven't noticed anything super dramatic yet. Um, also, but one reason for that as far as like energy goes, um, I haven't noticed any great energy increases, but that is because I have reduced and now eliminated my caffeine intake. I was drinking um, at least one cup of coffee in the morning and oftentimes two and sometimes three. So um, I decided when I heard adrenal issues, I decided it'd probably be a good idea to just go ahead and cut out the caffeine for a while and give my body a rest from that. So of course I had some tiredness from that. Thankfully I didn't have any withdrawal headaches or anything like that. I just had extra tiredness. Um, so I, today was my first day with absolutely no caffeine. The last few days I did half calf and then today I did no caffeine and I'm feeling okay. Uh, better than yesterday. Yesterday I got so tired and I took a two hour nap in the afternoon, which I never do. I never have to take that long of a nap unless I'm pregnant, <laughs> which I'm not. Um, but anyways, so that has, I, I've had the tiredness from no caffeine. And so hopefully now that that's getting out of my system, then I will see an increase in energy um, with the supplements and see if that, what that does for me as far as helping me lose some weight. And um, yeah, so that'll be interesting to see. So I'm not changing anything up as far as my diet. Um, I'm just kind of staying the course and seeing what these supplements will do and seeing what, you know, taking these few extra steps to help my adrenals will do. And um, she said that once my adrenals kind of get a rest and my blood sugar will be regulating a whole lot easier. I've, I've struggled, like I've talked about before, with um, my blood sugar regulation and just um, I, if I eat too many carbs, I my blood sugar just spikes up and I have high fast, fasting blood sugar for, you know, two or three days and it takes a while to get it down. It's just my body is not handling that kind of thing well. And um, she said, as soon as my adrenals get a rest, I should be able to, uh, my body will regulate my blood sugar a whole lot better. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to that and just taking it easy right now and um, seeing what happens with all these supplements. 
And then also she, um, I, as far as exercise, the main exercise I've been doing um, for the last several months is walking. I've been making sure to get my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit every day, um, most days, almost all days. Um, and then, so she recommended that I add in some HIIT training, um, high intensity interval training. And she recommended the New York Times um, HIT seven minute workout. And there's an app you can get for that and it's free. And I got that and she said to do that uh, three times a week and start with um, like just one of the seven minute sessions three times a week with at least a day in between. You don't wanna do two days back to back of the, um, the HIT training. <laughs> and then gradually work up to where you're doing three seven minute sessions three times a week. So you'd be doing 21 minutes total three times a week. So I've just started that and she said that should help with um, getting my body losing excess weight. And yeah, so that is where I'm at right now. Um, just kinda seeing what's gonna happen. Um, just on THM, I have been eating some crossovers. I kind of got to the point where I just was not feeling satisfied with just S or E meals, and I'd eat an S or an E meal and just be hungry and craving again within an hour or an hour and a half. And um, it was just super frustrating. I felt like I was snacking all the time. So I added in a few crossovers, and it was like I could eat this crossover meal with some carbs and some fat together and I would be hungry for like three or four hours straight, or I mean, sorry, I, I wouldn't be hungry for three or four hours and it felt incredible, like I finally felt satisfied. So I have been doing as many crossovers as I need. Um, I don't think I need three times a day crossovers, but I am adding in at least one crossover a day pretty much. Um, and I just feel like I absolutely need it to feel satisfied at this point. I don't know if it has to do with all my hormones readjusting and all that stuff, but um, it definitely seems like it's helping. And it, it seems like when I eat, I'm eating crossovers now, I'm eating less food than I was before because I just, eating the, either the S or the E meal would not satisfy me. And then I'd just be snacking and munching and constantly grabbing things and, um, with the crossovers, I'm just able to eat one meal and then actually stay satisfied until the next meal. So it's been it's been really good. I, I hate that feeling of focusing on food constantly and always thinking about how long until the next meal and counting the minutes and stuff. So anyways, um, this is getting long, so I will cut it off there. I just wanted to hop on and give you guys an update on where I'm at with my health and with my diet and what's going on. And um, I will definitely keep you updated on how things go with these supplements and um, if anything starts to move as far as weight goes. But I think that's all I had to tell you. Um, yeah, things are just still crazy with all that and then with the house like I showed you in the last video. So I have not been making a lot of videos recently, but I have not forgotten about you guys and I have plans for videos and they will happen whenever they happen. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys.